I'm Madame Donuts and I own Donut Dynamite with my husband. I was born and raised in the Philippines and I have two other siblings and my mom have always been quite good at figuring out what our strengths were and I ended up in the kitchen. Uh, so I've been cooking for the family since I was about nine or ten years old. My mom pretty much raised and grew most everything that we ate. So I have that background or at least that awareness of using real ingredients, whole foods, um, without correlating it to health and nutrition. It just was. I always loved donuts. My very first job was actually uh, at Dunkin' Donuts when I was 15. I think my awareness of donuts kind of came about around that time. I can speak through donuts, like I express myself through donuts. I think donuts are very humble and also they're the underdog of the pastry world. I wanted to change people's view of something that could be so simple and humble and not usually regarded as something regal because I'm gonna change the world through donuts. So when I decided to start a donut business, I thought we'll make brioche style donuts. It's actually called the rich man's bread in the pastry world. It's an enriched dough. It has um, a lot more eggs and butter than any other dough out there. It's also probably one of the more complicated um, doughs to make. It's, it's the Cadillac of all doughs. And I wanted to make the Cadillac of donuts. Other pastry chefs have actually made brioche donuts, but they were always in a high-end environment. I never wanted to make food that people cannot um, feel comfortable eating. I, I didn't want it to be elitist. I think we will always be creative, we will always be inspired to do something. We change our menu every day based on what inspired us that day. When it comes to flavor, don't skimp out. Because when you're happy about what you're eating, I think that's a healthy feeling, a healthy attitude. I was once asked, hey, you're gonna be in business. Are you fulfilling a need or a want? And I said, I'm fulfilling a want. When somebody walks in here, I was like, oh my God, and like the face, that excitement, it's like, oh my God, this is so good. Nobody says that about a salad. And that, that's fulfilling a want. I want people to be excited about what we do, and, and they are. And we're gonna continue to do what we do until those faces disappear, but they keep coming. <laughs>